The word haunted has very eerie and sinister connotations, which supports the entire chapter with an ongoing theme of death and despair. The idea that the East is now haunted suggests that Nick is followed by Gatsby and the legacy of the American dream. Perhaps Nick is reluctant to let go of the dream. He even claims to hear Gatsby plead, you need to get someone for me, old sport. The dream easily deceives people, but Nick's true view is exposed and the futility of the dream is revealed. Nick reveals that he is half in love with her, showing that he has been too preoccupied with Gatsby to properly pursue Jordan. It also supports how Nick has been within and without throughout the whole novel. The juxtaposition of angry and half in love show that his emotions and views are often conflicting, preventing the reader from being sure of his emotional state and whether to trust him or not. He may be tremendously sorry because um, he has regret of not, of not focusing on his own life and instead revolving his life around Gatsby. The arrival of Owl Eyes at Gatsby's funeral is significant as this is a character who had previously saw through Gatsby's act. The line, they used to go there by the hundreds, illustrates how Gatsby's dream is over and everyone was only interested in him and the hype surrounding him. Owl Eyes' sympathetic exclamative only further signifies the futility of Gatsby's dream as he pities him, almost as if he already knew of Gatsby's inevitable demise. In contrast to Nick reserving all judgment, he now finally reveals his true feelings about the Buchanans. The word smashed has very violent connotations and suggests that those with money and not a care in the world can do lots of damage. In addition, the dream can do lots of damage and believing in it. This is why Gatsby's life is taken. The violent verb reminds us of the car crash and perhaps Nick is showing his anger and resentment towards Daisy. Gatsby takes the blame for Myrtle's death, but Daisy, in fact, was driving. To further emphasise the idea that they are a careless couple, they leave after Gatsby's death without warning and without telling Nick where they're going. This is an extremely selfish act. be believed in the green light, the orgastic future that year by year recedes before us. It eluded us then, but that's no matter. Tomorrow we will run faster, stretch out our arms farther, and one fine morning, so we beat on, boats against the current, borne back ceaselessly.